Hello, I'm Chris Torino, and today I'll be explaining how to get the Steam versions of Jedi Knight and Dark Forces 2 and Mysteries of the Sith to run with 3D acceleration. All the websites and files will be linked in the description below. Disclaimer, I cannot guarantee this will work for you, but this is what worked for me. In all the places that I've looked for a fix, it seemed either that this didn't work for everyone or that everyone had a different issue, so there is a good chance this is the fix you're looking for. Thanks to this guide by, uh, this guy, the fix is very simple. Ignore what he says to do if you are an NVIDIA card user. All you need to do is step one. Download the DG Voodoo 2 JK zip file, the direct link to which is in the description below. Extract the files, not the folder, directly into the Jedi Knight game directory. Delete the Jedi.exe file, which I've already done, and then either run the DG Voodoo 2 setup or run the new JK executable. Once you've set up a player profile, go to Setup and Display Settings and tick Enable 3D Acceleration. Then choose your monitor's resolution. Click OK and you're all set to play Jedi Knight in all its 3D accelerated glory. For proof and comparison, here is some footage of the same level rendered with software. Hey. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Now, for Mysteries of the Sith, the process is similar but will require some extra effort to get it working. This time download the DG Voodoo 2 MOTS zip file in the description below and extract the files in the Mysteries of the Sith game folder. If you try to launch the game now, it will ask for the second Jedi Knight CD. And since we don't have it, we'll need to replace and or patch the JKM file. I'm not sure if this step is necessary, but this is what I did. You can try and skip this step if you want, but if that doesn't work, come back to this step. What we need to do now is patch the JKM EXE file if the Voodoo 2 version of the JKM file won't patch, we need to download a pre-Steam release JKM EXE, and that link also in the description. Once we've extracted this new EXE file, we need to go get a no CD patcher, download and extract the files in the zip to your game folder and run the crack. Now you should be able to play the game with 3D accelerated graphics. When I looked for a way to get 3D acceleration working, I was surprised no one had already made a video explaining this. I hope this video helped and saved you from the same hours of headache I endured. Did this video help? Do you know of a different way to solve this issue? Let me know below. If you like this video, click the like button. Subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time.